So YouTube. So as many of you probably already know, Apple announced today at their WWDC keynote the next generation of iOS, that's iOS 6, as well as, just today as well, posting the first beta of that for developers. Now since we're developers, we got it early and we can now demo some of the biggest features of iOS 6. The first one that we're going to demo for you is the enhanced Siri features. So they made a pretty big deal of this at the keynote, but it basically they just added a bunch of functionality to Siri. So if we go like this, Siri, what was the score of the most recent Giants game? The Giants were beaten by the Rangers yesterday. The final score was 5-0. to zero. And you can see that you can ask uh, all sorts of things about all different sports, uh, basketball, uh, baseball, football, all of those. You can also ask about individual players and stuff, so uh, this is another example they did. What is Buster Posey's batting average? Buster Posey has a batting average of 290. So you can see, uh, it just makes it really simple to look up simple things like that about sports, things a lot of people want to know. And they also updated stuff to work with theaters, so you can check out, like, search for a movie and find it in a theater close to you. So, yeah, for example, you can say, what movies are playing close to me? And it'll come up with a list of all movies close to where you are. Now we scroll up so that you can't see uh, any identifying information, but basically it just gives you a list of all the movies playing close to you. So they've obviously made a big effort to improve the features of Siri, and there's a whole lot of other functionality and just improved recognition. Additionally, they're bringing Siri to the new iPad, that's the third generation iPad. So if you have one of those, then you can expect to see Siri with iOS 6. And they're also bringing it to a bunch more languages. The second thing we're going to show off is the new Maps application, so let me just open that up. So, you can see here, it's right on San Francisco, and you can zoom in, totally read on interface. Um, Apple has ditched Google Maps with this, actually, and they have their own uh, first-party solution to Maps, as well as having this amazing 3D map view, which if you zoom in, um, you can see they've mapped out all these different buildings and you can scroll in and around at this angle. So once again, the Maps app is really just very well done and beautiful. And for navigation, they added turn-by-turn -turn navigation, sort of like a GPS, so you can use your phone uh, really well if you need to navigate around the city. We're not going to show you that now because we're in the same place. We don't have the same simulation that they used at uh, the demo, but basically, yeah, they added turn-by-turn -turn navigation to the built-in Maps app, which is a thing a lot of people have been wanting for a while. So, uh, one of the last things we're going to show you about iOS 6 is this new feature called Passbook. And what Passbook does is lets you uh, coalesce all, all the different apps that like sell tickets, boarding passes, store cards, you can see those are all the examples right there. Basically, uh, we don't have any right now so we can't give you a full demo of this, but basically what it does is if you buy a ticket in an app, it goes into Passbook, and then when you get to wherever you're going, you just open up your iPhone and it's right on the lock screen. You can just open it up and uh, show them your path. And so those are really the main features. We're also going to show you a couple different enhancements they added. One other thing a lot of people were uh, excited about is the Facebook integration. I haven't added my Facebook info, but Facebook integration is system-wide. If you just go into system preferences and uh, set it up, you can see there's Twitter and Facebook where you can enter your information. And so that works just like Twitter integration, basically anywhere in the iPhone or iPod Touch or whatever that you want to tweet something, uh, just like you see has tap to tweet here, you would tap to post to Facebook. Um, and once again, that's system wide, so you can access it from anywhere in the device. And you can also access this Facebook integration uh, from the App Store or iTunes. So this is sort of replacing what Apple was trying to do with Ping. Uh, a couple of years back. Basically you can like certain apps, albums, artists, songs, and those will all be posted to your Facebook feed. Um, and so that's basically the Facebook integration that we have. As And as you can see, a lot of apps have been redone visually, uh, such as the App Store, the Music App, System Preferences, Minorly. Um, they've all sort of received a different skin and look to them, uh, so it just feels a lot newer and updated. Yep, if we open up the music, you'll see 
you can't really see the actual uh, icons because none of the music is synced yet. But you can see it does have this new steel like look. Alright, now the last thing we're going to do is show you uh, Apple's new phone features. So if I put my phone to sleep and have Adrian call me right now. I should get the call in a few seconds. And it'll pop up here and you see we have this new menu right here which we can pop up. We can decline or answer the call right away. Or you can reply with message, which is uh, just a text message. Or we can hit remind me later. And this is one of the cool call, uh, features that Apple really uh, was raving about. You can see, you can remind it in one hour when you leave wherever you are. So if you're somewhere like in a meeting or something where you can't respond. Or when you get home and like you're out and about and you uh, don't want to respond until you get home. You can have it set a reminder to remind you to call back whoever it was when you reach that point. So mm -hmm. this is one of those little aesthetic things that Apple has added that I really think uh, is just a great feature to have. Um, so those are the main features of iOS 6. So obviously there's so many more features we didn't mention than this. You can see the keynote online, we'll have a link in the description, and you can also view more information both on Apple's website and on our website. So check the links down in the description for more info. Mm -hmm. That's all we have for now, thanks for watching and please subscribe.